Hey there, toy car collectors. As it says, it is the end of the season. There's a couple more left, but this is just a random haul video. So first of all, we have Jungle Crawler. This is a fairly new model. Really cool. Someone has custom painted this as well. The fuel tanks, the windscreen wipers, the rope on the front there, and the tail lights have all been painted. But it was quite nice. This is a cool one. This is a Flame Chopper. I think this is a 2003 fantasy model, but look at that. That is cool. If I had that back in the day, this would have been a prime car I would have used on my Robot Wars Arena. Because that would have been cool. Next we have the 84 Pontiac Grand Prix with the King. I don't know if that means sort of like this is the King from like uh, Disney Pixar Cars or whether this is like the King, which, were, which was a famous NASCAR racer back in the day. Next we have Deuce Roadster, yet yeah, another one of these little cool funky cars. I like these ones. I haven't seen this one in the main lines for a while actually. Metal body, uh, metal base. Might be the reason why. That usually turns up as a Zamac as well. I think this one's called Fangular or Fangs. Something or other. It's got no base name. Now this is the only exception because it is actually an 80s classic so I might be able to find this one. Really cool looking model. Not a colour changer either. Next we have a 65 Mustang Fastback. Gorgeous white. Look at that. Absolutely lovely shade of white. Mad Splash. Yep. I love this model. Very cool little thing to find. Very unique. Spitting Image 1 or 2? Nope, just Spitting Image 1. This is a classic model. This is not a red line, sadly. Still pretty cool. This is the Porsche 911 GT1. Yep. In the classic Matchbox colours. Matchbox used to do that back in the day. They used to have sort of like a whole line of their cars that just had their logo on. Next we have a Nissan 300ZX Turbo with lights. Yep, the lights pop up. There we go. They don't pop up very far, but they do pop up. Pretty cool. And it has opening doors. 37 Bugatti. Yep. I think this is one of the last ones they ever produced with these white walls and uh, the yellow and red. has the uh, Malaysia base, but as you can tell... Both codes have been covered up, so that obviously means that it's a later version. Next we have the Lamborghini Diablo from Matchbox. Beautiful yellow with the Lambo logo on the front there. Really cool to get. Quicksand, I know this one because I have a few of these carded. Beautiful purple, metallic purple colour. Alfa Romeo from, uh, this is a Giugetta from Majorette. With opening doors, look at the mintiness of that. And remember, I brought this at a car boot sale. Just as the guy was packing up and going home as well. Next we have a Toyota MR2 pace car. Nice little nippy pocket rocket these were. Still see them on the road sometimes. Usually in red and very faded. Porsche 959. Sadly, it looks like it did have an opening rear end, or that could just be a moulding defect, but yep. This is also when uh, they stopped saying Made in Britain because the Made in Britain logo has actually been scraped away and they've just put Made in Machu, which is rather sad really. Next we have a Superfast, or Super GT rather. Uh, if you know this model's name, yep. Again, they, they used to do that back in the day, Matchbox, just literally produce a load of cheapo models from older castings. Next we have a Superfast Formula 5000 with Exion. Very nice example. A bit worn, but still nice nonetheless. Yes, another Majorette Pontiac. In beautiful green. Without opening doors. It doesn't have opening doors. Looks like they open, but no, they don't. Very nice colour indeed. We then have a Volkswagen van. This is the Microbus. This is the third variation of this one. The last one I said I did actually find I had another one. It's got some skateboards on the side with Extreme! Sport on the side. Next we have a Majorette Renault Express. I might already have this one, but I'm not sure. I know I have another one, but I'm not sure if I have Express Car. Yes, I can. Another US Supervan from Corgi Juniors with Hertz on the side. Uh, Hertz were a British um, car fixer. And we have a Greyhound from Lesney Matchbox in mint condition. I have a feeling though this is a reproduction one or a very later one. Because as you can see these bits here are plastic and this would have all been once metal. 
but still, it's a rare one. And my recent find, a majorette, but it's a rollomatic because it actually has a working feature. So if I roll that wheel, it actually spins. And it is kind of cool. And there's the uh, little peg on the back there. There it is. Yep, and that is really cool. I never knew Majorette did them, but I suppose it was a popular thing. No idea what they call. The actual model is called uh, Macarus Benton. Very luscious name indeed. Anyway, that is it. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.